Gonna make cherry soup today. There's them are tart cherries, and I don't think I have enough in here to do a full batch of soup, so I'm gonna cut in some sweet cherries, which means I will um, not put as much sugar in there. But I'm gonna tell you how to do it with all tart cherries. So you're gonna need to pit four cups of tart cherries, unless you happen to can your own cherries, which my aunt would do, and then make cherry soup when cherries weren't in season. But since I'm pitting my own, this you can see the lovely, lovely sink. This is a cherry pitter. It looks like this. And you put your wait a minute. Oh, put your thumb in there and your fingers. And you stick your cherry in there. And you push the little button and, and the pit popped out the bottom. So now you have a pitted cherry. So I'm gonna be doing this a lot of times. Let's do another one, shall we? One more. Here we go. Cherry in the pitter. Push it, and the pit comes out the bottom. See, there's the pit. So then you have a pitted cherry. Now I'm going to get to do all these. That is ugly back there, that brick. I hate that brick. But that was my mom's thing. Okay. Going to pit cherries. There's my tart cherries. There are my sweet cherries. Okay, I ended up with about three cups of tart cherries and a cup of sweet cherries. And tart cherries are a very soft cherry compared to the sweet cherry. They're very delicate. They're not as messy to pit. Um, so yeah, that's what I ended up with. And I have five cups of water. Last time I made it, I did it with four, and I think it needs to be a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna try it with five. Um, in my aunt's recipe, she canned her own cherries. So when she would make it in the off season, she would use a quart of cherries and a quart of water, but the cherries had juice in there with them, so I'm thinking that's why it was a little bit thick. So four cups of cherries, unless you have your own canned of quart cherries. Five cups of water. Since I have some sweet cherries, I think I'm going to do a half a cup of sugar, but if it's all tart cherries, the last time I did three-fourths of a cup of sugar, and it was fine. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're going to dump the cherries in the pot and dump the water on the cherries. And doing all this one handed because I'm spiffy like that. A half, there's a quarter. And a half a cup of sugar and the cinnamon, which I have to take a lid off. And that, oh yes, I can. I didn't think I could do it with one hand, but apparently I can. Teaspoon, which is right, teaspoon here. Teaspoon, oh, this looks like a lot, but it was only a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now I'm gonna get this all stirred together. I don't have a big spoon here or else I would do it and get it on the stove to boil. So hang on one minute. It's a little dark over here, but it's all stirred up and it's over here to boil together. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do right now is just get this to boil. I got it on high and let it roll. I know it looks ugly, people. I know it does. Well, that's on there getting ready to boil. This is what the dumplings are gonna be made out of and the thickening that makes the soup thicken up. It, this is a cup of flour. Um, two tablespoons of sugar. She had a pinch of baking powder and a pinch of bake of salt, which probably were an eighth of a teaspoon. Not a lot, just a pinch. And I'll be putting cracking an egg in here and uh, mixing that all up and then I'll add water until it comes to a consistency. But I'll show you when that comes up right now. I'm gonna wait until I see it, see the um, pot of cherries getting ready to boil. Cause these will be drop dumplings. So once it comes to a boil, I'll start putting the dumplings in. I'll be back. Okay, my cherries are on the verge of coming to a rapid boil. So I wanna mix all this dry ingredients together. We're going to try this one-handed. I don't know if I'm going to succeed, but we will see. Ta-ta! I'm actually shocked, but I got egg on my hand, so I need a napkin. Okay, sorry about that. And then you want to mix this together first before adding the water. 
So I will do that and I'll be right back in a second. Oops, arm. Now I'm going to start putting in the water. I'm going to put about, I don't know, you just have to go by feel. I used this little juice glass last time and I, I would go half and then I end up using the whole glass, but I'm going to do like I did before. Start out with half of it and then add more, which I can see I'm going to have to do. And just mix this and making a dumpling dough. It needs to be a little bit thick. Which we will spoon into the soup here momentarily. So let me get this thoroughly combined. Okay, you want it kind of like this kind of consistency. And my phone's just telling me something about a game. So we're going to go over there and see how they're doing and maybe start putting these in there. Hang on gotta change locations and I'm getting egg on the table. Oop. Oh, so your cherries are at a nice rolling boil and for your dumplings you just pretty much want to do the whole spoon them in. And it's just a thickener. They're little bitty dumplings. They're just it's it's mainly a thickener and there'll be little chewy tiny little bite-sized dumplings in there so I'm going to do that with all the dumpling stuff and I'll be okay, back. Okay, all the dumplings are in there and I'm going to cook it for a little while. See how the little dumplings form? And um, you just want to simmer it briefly and then shut it off and let it cool on the stove. And then um, we'll put it in a container and stick it in the refrigerator overnight. And I'll probably show you tomorrow when I open it up and show you what it looks like after it's sat. Um, and, and I know it looks gross. First time I ever saw it, I'm like, there is no way I'm trying that. And I did, and I'm like, ooh, that's good. So, I'll see you tomorrow. I forgot to say, if you taste it at this time, because you want to taste it if it's your first time making it, and if you don't think it's sweet enough for you, you could add more sugar. Because I just tasted this, and I'm actually going to add a little more sugar, um, because it, to me it wasn't sweet enough. Um, so, it's kind of to taste, because her recipe even said add sugar, till it's sweet enough for you. And I'm like, oh, that's great. How, where do we even start? <laughs> so I'm probably gonna add another maybe quarter cup of sugar. So I guess I'm gonna have three-fourths of a cup of sugar again. So, okay, I'm off again. I just poured it in my bowl and I'm gonna let it sit here for a while because it's really, really hot. If you can see the steam, I don't know. Can you see the steam? If I get it close, can you? I don't know. We're gonna let this sit out for a little while and we'll put it in the refrigerator later. The sweet cherries have definitely made it a deeper, muddier color because they're just more, they make it the color. Like when I clean the, the sour, the tart cherries, no red comes on my hand or nothing. And um, the color of the soup is much lighter, but um, the sweet cherries make it a little more interesting looking, that's for sure. All right, now I really will see you tomorrow. Okay, it's two days later actually for the cherry soup saga and I'm still I still don't taste good the consistency not so good I just talked about this in a vlog so I think I'm gonna cut back next time I make it which I don't know when it'll be because tart cherries are brought over with but next time I make it I'm gonna cut back to only three cups of cherries and five and keep it at five cups of water and do a little less dumpling because see now it just it gets so thick it's like a goop it's not even it's just cherry dumpling goop it still tastes good though and I do believe I like it better with all tart cherries instead of mixing in sweet cherries, but that's what I had to do because I didn't have enough tart. Although, in hindsight, I did have enough tart because I did have three cups of them. And trying to follow the recipe, but, uh, you know, trial and error because she's not in her right mind enough to help me, so I'm just trying to figure it out. But as long as it tastes good, that's all that matters, right? One day I'll get the consistency right, though. I will. All right, that's my cherry soup saga. Maybe y'all can figure it out. I don't know. Now, you might see me again because I'm going to cook again right now.